Hello friends, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use generative fill for free on the line. First is Adobe Firefly. So let's go ahead and type firefly.adobe.com into our browser. You might need to register for a free account first. Then once you get to this page, go to this option in the middle by clicking on the generate button. You can choose an existing image from a gallery, but I'm going to go ahead and upload one of my own from my hard drive. I'm going to use a simple desert landscape image and once it's uploaded you can do things like remove background by clearing it out to a transparent color you can also choose the remove button and paint over the objects you want to remove from your image here we're going to get three different results we can browse simply select the version you like the most and click on the keep button and by selecting the insert button and painting a selection with it you can type your generative fill text prompt right here. I'm going to use desert mountain peaks in this example, and this will produce three different results. Now in the upper right corner, you can copy this image to clipboard or download this image to your hard drive. The only thing is that it's gonna have this watermark saying you cannot use this image commercially. Another way to use generative fill for free is by using ClipDrop AI a website. So let's go ahead and type ClipDrop AI going to the first search result here they have all kinds of different free ai tools here they have background removal tools image upscaler replacing background image but the one we're going to use in this example is the uncrop tool in the lower right corner so the way this uncrop tool works is that first you upload an image i'm going to use exactly the same image from my firefly example and i'm going to adjust its position within the crop area all you have to do here is click on the next button and wait for AI to generate your images. Here again, we're gonna get three different variations. You can use these three dots to further work on the image or click on the download button to save your image to your hard drive. This editor does not add a watermark, but of course they're all different in their own ways. Now, the third option you have for using generative fill tool online for free is by going to photo p web application which is basically a free copy of photoshop here i'm going to go to the first search result to open photo p you don't even need to register an account it just starts working directly in the browser so i'm going to go ahead and open my image and just like in photoshop you would go here to the crop tool then you would extend the image area to add more space to the right now just go to the toolbar and the option you're looking for is called magic remove which actually has this lasso tool icon so this magic replace option is photo p's generative fill in the sense that it can replace blank selection with an ai generated image so the way it works is that you just make a selection around this empty space and in this new content text box is where you're going to type your text prompt so i'm going to type desert terrain with mountain peaks then go ahead and click on the replace button and wait for the image to be generated now i don't know if it's better quality than photoshop but it doesn't look too bad considering this generative fill ai tool is completely free to access online